FX Fly 3D printer, 3D design, custom 3D printers. Just want to learn about uh, nitty gritty details. Come along. So let's go to Fusion 360. We have what is considered the release candidate here. And we are going to talk about the parts, what they do and why they are there and so on. And let's start with the base frame. This is what I consider the base frame. And it consists of four extrusions in the Y, which is 350 mm. It consists of five extrusions in the C, which is 310 mm. And four extrusions in the X, which is 310 mm. Those are all in the bill of materials in the beta repository. And we have all our corner brackets, which is nice uh, when you assemble this frame because it aligns the corner for better placement of the corner brackets. Uh, the corner brackets is 2028 corner brackets with M5 and T nuts. We also have all the four Y axis. They are tapped because we like to utilize this screw to align everything together. Uh, I also added these two rails on the C, which we didn't have before. And the reason is that it's much more convenient when we are routing cables. It makes it a little bit more rigid. We also can utilize the same corner for all four bottom corners. Uh, also, we have the Aslong worm drive with this 3D printed bracket. We have the upper idler mount on the rear here for the belt with one toothed idler. We have another upper belt mount here which also have a tension system for the belt. This part also means that it's easy for us to drop the bed when not powered. So we can just release this guy and drop the bed in emergencies. We of course have the motor brackets which also aligns the frame. We have the idler brackets for the Core XY kinematic system. All part of the base frame. All these parts are currently being released in the beta repository. And let me know if you discover something while printing. If you see something missing or anything you would like to suggest or improve, then let me know. This is another main assembly in the printer. It is for the bed. I call it a bed frame assembly. And it consists of two to 350 millimeter extrusion and one 290. We have the bed supports with the thumb screws for adjusting the bed level. We have the single C carrier in the back. We have two C carriers in the front. We have the center bed rest, which is a fixed point that should not be leveled. We have the idler brackets for lifting the bed frame. We have two idlers in the back and one in the front. We have the silicone pad. This is a 200 by 200 silicon pad, 400 watts. The bed in this assembly is 230 millimeter. We can fit a little bit bigger and we can fit smaller. The print volume is still 200 by 200. The X axis consists of the Y carriers. Two Y carriers sit on each end of the X axis, which is 295 millimeter. The X carrier itself we have gone through in another vlog. I can make a car link to the video for the uh, details about the X-Carrier later in the video. We also have the towers for the idlers pulling the X-Carrier. That is the part which concludes the X-Axis. When they all come together, we have a 3D printer, guys. <laughs> we need to add the electronics and we need to add some panels. When I'm done rebuilding the prototype, Got that up and running. I'm gonna start designing the panels. Most parts are released in the beta repository for the beta builders. Release date is in another vlog. I will link to that up here later. We are missing the extruder, which I'm gonna add later. It's gonna sit back here. We are gonna add our junction box 
for the cable routing. If you have any good ideas for cable management, let me know. We are gonna add those back here and also we're gonna add one bracket on the carrier so that we can get from the frame to the X carrier. So there are some small details left. We are gonna get those ready. If you think I forgot something, let me know in the comments below. If you have any good ideas for enclosing the el electronics, if you have any tips about cable management, let me know. The rebuild of the prototype is going great. Let me also show you why I add each and every nut and bolt and washer into the Fusion model or else you will not have a complete bill of materials. Then you would have to guesstimate what kind of fasteners to use and how many of each and so on. And I can tell you that this is not really a fun job but it's very necessary. So what I typically do is I go inside this uh, plugin I have called Bummer where I can pull out each and every part I placed into the assembly. I can also note if there are something we are to print or to buy. Later I can export this to an excel file and get all the numbers for you. This is all stuff that you guys don't see me doing. All these fasteners typically we don't have so we need to go find them online. When the bill of materials is done, I of course I'm gonna find links for, for you guys so that you can just click and buy and start building this awesome, awesome, awesome machine. If you have any question, any comment, let me know in the comments below and please hit the like and even better subscribe. Now go melt some plastic.